How to Use Fibonacci Numbers to Make Three-Dimensional Forms by Kelsey Brooks. Okay, first we place the Fibonacci numbers on a graph. Each number gets a correspondingly large number of places on the x-axis of the graph. Next, we pass a waveform through each number, creating a sine wave. Each oscillation of the wave increases in amplitude along the x and y axis. Corresponding to the Fibonacci numbers, that wave passes through. This wave pattern then becomes a template we can move through space in a variety of ways to make different sculptures. For instance, this simple slab form. Then, we can take that slab form and double it to create a vertical double-sided slab. Then we can take that slab and break it into four pieces and put it back together to create a totem. Finally, we rotated the template around a single point and created a half circle. Using one template, we created four different sculptures, all from the same starting point. We then cover the surface of the sculptures with patterns that fit the waveform on the surface of the sculpture, creating a bright, colorful, three-dimensional object sourced directly from numbers and waves. In addition to using these wave templates to make shapes, we use this basic template to outline some very dangerous shapes. Wondering what other objects we could make, I thought back to my background in microbiology. I remembered that all viruses can be grouped together by morphology or shape. So I took the templates we created for the Fibonacci waveforms and traced the outline of a series of virus capsules. I outlined a smallpox virus, a human papilloma virus, a rabies virus, and a tobacco mosaic virus. We then covered the surface of these viruses with patterns that fit the waveform on the surface of the sculpture, creating a bright, colorful, three-dimensional object in the shape of the world's deadliest viruses. <laughs>